Thank you, Madam President. I wanted to come to the floor today, as I did uh, last week, to once again speak about Will's Eye Hospital in Philadelphia. When I was here last week, I was talking about the hospital itself and the uh, truly excellent work that's done at that hospital, and unfortunately, to talk as well about the unfair treatment that hospital is receiving from the Center for Centers, I should say, for Medicare and Medicaid Services, we know by the acronym CMS. CMS is using an, uh, an arbitrary ratio of the number of inpatient uh, and inpatients and outpatients to uh, make the argument, faulty though it is, but to make the argument that Will's Eye is not a hospital and should be uh, an ambulatory surgery center. Uh, which could have drastic implications and ultimately force uh, Will's Eye Hospital uh, to close down. This hospital is almost 200 years old. Last week, Will's Eye Hospital started an online petition on change.org so people could show their support for the hospital. And I wanted to share some of those comments uh, today with, uh, with uh, members of the Senate. These um, online postings, of course, don't just come from Philadelphia or Pennsylvania. They come from states uh, across the Northeast and even beyond. Just a couple of examples. Jack Croft from, from Pennsylvania, Lansdale, not too far from Philadelphia, said, and I quote, I owe my life, I owe my life, my right eye, and, and my sight to Will's Eye Hospital, and it's brilliant ocular oncology team. Losing federal designation as a hospital would have a devastating effect on the lives of thousands, many of them children who desperately need the specialized expertise of wills." Unquote. So said Jack Croft. Uh, Ann Chatterjee from Philadelphia said the following, Will's Eye Hospital provides care to so many complex patients from all across the world. It's not just a, quote, surgery center, unquote. State regulators got it right, but federal regulators should revisit this. And the comments go on from there, unquote. We continue to hope that they will do that. My words, um, in addition to the comments. Kathleen O'Brien from Vestal, New York, not from Pennsylvania. Quote, I needed, I needed Will's Eye Hospital since 2005 to treat and monitor my ocular melanoma. They are the best in the world for my very rare cancer. Medicare, in my primary Medicare is my primary insurance provider. It makes no logical sense to take away this vital institution to thousands of children and adults they not only treat, but save lives, unquote. Erica Roach from Cape May County Courthouse, New Jersey, said, and I quote, this hospital, meaning Will's Eye Hospital, provides specialized care not available anywhere else. Doctors at Will's Eye quickly diagnosed and successfully treated my daughter's rare eye condition that has been mis had been misdiagnosed for years by other less specialized doctors. The possibility of closing this world-class hospital due to senseless bureaucracy is just unthinkable." Unquote. So said Erica. Two more, Mike Stanley. Mike's from Overland Park, Kansas, half a country away from Pennsylvania. Uh, quote, uh, we live in Overland Park, Kansas, and for the past two years, have been flying from Kansas City to Philly for treatment for the uh, retinoblastoma eye cancer you referred to, meaning comments that I had made uh, when I was at Will's Eye Hospital. To continue on with Mike Stanley's comments, quote, thankfully, my daughter is now four and in remission. We travel back to Philly next week and Will's. Please let us know what we can do to support CMS changing how they classify Will's Eye, so we and others can continue to get the best care in the world, unquote. 
Alexis Butler from Chelsea, Michigan, said it, and I'm quoting, uh, I'm, say, I'm signing because as a volunteer at Camp Sunshine at Sabago Lake, I've met many children who have been saved by Will's Eye Hospital. Their cases aren't handled much by other hospitals as well as they are uh, at Will's. It, quote, and she concludes with this, quote, it needs to survive, unquote. So, so said Alexis from the state of Michigan. And I'll do one more. The final comments come from Nancy Cotton from Marlton, New Jersey. Quote, please do not be blinded by rubber stamp bureaucracy. Not everything fits neat, neatly into arbitrary slots. Visit Will's eye and look in the faces of those whose vision has, uh, was restored, uh, saved as well by the parents whose children's very lives were saved. This institution fills a desperate need for highly specialized service, exclamation point. Save Will's eye, exclamation point. Actually, two exclamation points. That's how uh, Nancy Cotton from New Jersey ends her comments. So Madam President, you can see from these comments that these are real people uh, talking about their real lives or that of a family member, sometimes a child, uh, commenting uh, f from, from the vantage point of uh, what, what they've experienced in terms of the benefits that Will's Eye Hospital has provided. I hope CMS is listening, not just to these comments, by the many others that have been sent in. None of these comments are uh, compulsory. None of these comments are part of some, some uh, um, organized uh, uh, political effort. People are just responding in a very authentic uh, and substantial way. This is very rare when you have this kind of commentary that is so specific about how Will's Eye Hospital has uh, made life better for people across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, people across the northeastern part of the United States, and well beyond that, as we can document from uh, the, the comments from Kansas. So what we're trying to do is to work with Will's Eye and CMS to work this out to remove a, a bureaucratic barrier or obstacle in the way of keeping Will's Eye Hospital open as a hospital so that it can deliver the kind of eye care, the kind of life-saving eye care that not only these people experience, but I experienced my, myself as a father. My wife and I had a daughter who's uh, fortunately doing very well. She's out of college, but she had a, she had a, a moment in time when she was a little girl where she would have lost eyesight in one of her eyes were it not for Will's Eye Hospital. That's fact, that's documented, we know that. So I join those comments that we heard uh, today and uh, we'll continue to make them part of the record. So we're working to save what is, to say it's a world-class institution is a vast understatement. And it um, has affected so many lives, including, uh, including my own. So CMS uh, got this wrong. They have an obligation to get it right, to fix it, uh, so that Will's Eye Hospital can continue uh, into the future. So we're grateful that, we're grateful that so many uh, people are, are um, uh, taking the time to go to change.org and focus on all the benefits of Will's Eye Hospital. Uh, and I'll continue to make uh, this case a high priority for the work that I do, the work that our office does, and uh, uh, time is running short now for the hospital, and CMS has some work to do to make sure that we get the result, not only that I want, but I know that people across our Commonwealth and our country want. Madam President, I would yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum.